It should have been an easy deal, cash for a used SUV from a licensed car dealer. But that deal turned into an ordeal for an Albuquerque family. As News 13's Chris McKee shows you on special assignment, their money vanished, the car vanished, and so did the dealership's owners. Are they gone? Do you know where they're at? No one seems to know what happened. Do you know any person that's associated with car time? To a small Albuquerque car dealership off East Central. Do you know where they went? I don't know what, what happened. But Kevin Brasenio and Stephanie Montoya know what the dealership did to them. It's been the worst experience we've ever had to deal with. The new parents have been taken for their cash savings. We're out of almost $10,000. Along with the ownership of the car, they thought they were buying after a month long ordeal with Car Time LLC. Everyone's pointing fingers at each other. It started in this small parking lot near Eubank and Central. The signs are gone now, but the dealership Car Time was running sales here in January alongside a few other small, unaffiliated dealers. <gasps> <laughs> like a lot of full-time working parents, you gotta get around for her. Stephanie and Kevin needed a second car to get to their different jobs and daycare. We had saved up some money so we can buy a car cash. That way, we wouldn't have to be making two car payments. They found this 2007 blue GMC Acadia for 9,500 bucks. It was a beautiful car in good condition. That the SUV would be perfect for her and for her older brother. Kevin and Stephanie paid most of it off on January 7th. A receipt shows they gave car time $8,700. The couple drove the SUV off the lot with a temporary tag and say the dealership promised they'd get the title by the time they made their final payment. About two weeks later, they paid the final $800, but heard something different about getting the SUV's title. And she went and paid it. And they told her it was everything was in the process. The couple was told the title would be there by the end of February. 30 days came and went. But still, no title for the SUV they'd paid off. We've just got excuse after excuse. By March, more excuses came from car time. Their bookkeeper had just embezzled thousands of dollars for him and she had just been arrested. We get another one saying the owner had gallbladder issues and he was in the hospital. About 90 days after buying the car, the couple said they just wanted a refund. Kevin thought his best leverage would be taking back the SUV. Dropped it off, gave one of the owners the keys and said, hey, I'll be back on Friday. Hopefully you guys have money. By the time Kevin went back, the car was gone and there was no refund waiting for him. At this point, we're out of our money. We're out of a vehicle. The couple filed complaints with the attorney general's office and the state's motor vehicle division. Turns out they're not the only people car time is accused of doing this to. They ended up um, not granting titles or vehicles to a few people. And so far, MVD says nine customers claim car time owes them more than $82,000 in bad business deals. The state says the dealership's sales license expired last month and they've been in contact with the listed owner, Joel Hauk. Has he explained the reason why this problem has come about to MVD at all? Uh, he hasn't. Um, he let us know that he was closing down his business um, about the same time we started getting some complaints. We went to the dealership to see if anyone from Car Time could answer for the problems. We only met people claiming Car Time had folded up shop. Yeah. They're going through some issues. We don't really know. We're not part of it. He told us to talk to the car lot's landlord. Do they ever indicate any problems to you? No, none of the dealers do. That's not me. They don't communicate to me. He referred us to this guy named George, who said he'd done sales for car time, quote, a long time ago. They the may be having some problems. The guy that you need to talk to is Joel Hauk. We never found Joel. Car Time's listed phone number went to someone who said they were an old employee and had no phone number for the owner either. MVD says it has now put Kevin and Stephanie and other customers in touch with Car Time's bonding company, which has a $35,000 bond that could reimburse customers who've been left hanging. But Kevin and Stephanie know there are no guarantees. Do you think you'll get your money back? I honestly don't think so. For now, they're out $9,500, a lot of money for this family. It doesn't come that easy for us. On special assignment, Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. MVD says it's still hearing from customers affected by this dealership. Open the KRQE News app now for more information on how you can file a complaint against a car dealership and some tips that could help you when you are buying a car.